Welcome back to the Indigo Escape, where Omar and Andrea and we bought an abandoned farm in central Portugal which we are renovating by ourselves. Our first project in our land is making our current living quarters more comfortable during all seasons so we can fix up the main house. This week things don't go to plan. We have had problems with the electricity, the weather turned on us, but we get our chance to make our lives easier. Ah. So as you can see, it's been raining like absolutely crazy for the last awful, week. It's been awful guys, <laughs> it's been awful three days, torrential rain, the lights have gone off, we have had problems with the electricity, so the roof is in standby right now. Yeah, but it will start again, we've got two more days like this and then it's sunshine, so yeah. uh, we've been keeping ourselves useful, I mean like yeah. we uh, we made some shelves yeah. and uh, we did... We had to prune all the olives just before the rain came. So we had some olives that we went to go and get pressed. Yeah, so that was really interesting. I'll show you guys later what we did because that was <laughs> quite fun, actually. Indeed. And so today the idea is, is to make a workbench. With all of the wood that we had delivered for the rafters of the roof, we still have to sand them and preserve them. And we just don't want to break our backs like we did last time. So the plan yeah. is, is to make a workbench. Yeah, a simple DIY efficient workbench. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So basically what Omar is doing right now, he's going to cut this piece over here in half and that's going to be basically the trim around the table, correct? Indeed. We're going to cut some legs. I believe work tops are normally 90 centimeters high. 90 centimeters in total. These are four centimeters, so we should do them 86 centimeters. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty precise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go and get the first one. So basically, it's going to be one of these off cuts over here. Sorry for the mess, we're just trying to organize ourselves. There you are. So we have 86 centimeters. Let me just put these glasses on. I feel like I'm going snorkeling this thing. planning about the lamp and uh, they have another idea more ideas put in the description below I'm always very interested what DIY people do okay I'll put these in a pile of other couples yeah I think that's gonna be a really nice piece of wood yeah but I'm, I'm gonna cut most of this bit out okay yeah no that makes sense it's not gonna be stay where it was basically decided that we're going to use the two of the widest pieces of wood which is 57 centimeters and so that's going to be the table width and then length we've decided 180 centimeters so about yeah. six foot
You see that guy over there? We don't know what bear it is. I think it's a raven, but it's huge. That guy has been so pissed off for the past four days because it's raining. There's two of them always around here. And he just can't stop doing that every day. He's like, screw this, man. I'm going to Morocco. <laughs> So, we've got to the point where we've got our legs and we've got our support posts. Well, they're not really posts, they're more like beams, I guess. Things are going down to hold the tail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, right now we are going to be attaching these things to our posts uh, on either side. And then later on we'll take the longer lengths and attach them. So we'll have what is the basis of a table. Why is this so short? Well, that's the... Remember, it's coming out like over here, because we agreed that it was going to be 60 centimeters. So we're having a little bit of a discussion here. <laughs> we always change our mind, because, you know, we can. 57 yeah, would be very, uh, very slim. So we can actually make this a little bit wider. We're thinking much wider. Yeah, we're wider. just looking at this, and it's just like... Yeah, this is two together. It seems very top-heavy. Yeah. We have a 30 centimeter wide piece of wood and yeah. then we have a 27 and a 25. Yeah. And I am thinking like we were just going to use two and then keep one spare. So perhaps what we should do is use all three yeah. and make a really wide table. And then instead of worrying about putting shelves underneath it, we can put shelves on top and the back. So yeah, it's like a little a bit box. easier to reach everything. So we had a little issue because we were trying to like make sure all of our measurements were like straight and level. And then we just realized that our actual table we're working on is completely not level. <laughs> nothing's level, sorry. Nothing. Nothing's level in this house. Nothing is straight and nothing is level. The plan is, is to make the table level and then we can make our table, which we're building on this table, level. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay, no, wrong side. Yep. Are we good? Yes. Okay. That's mad. So now, so now we're done. We're good now. I should. That is straight now. We use both levels just in case. And that's how we had to fix it. So now look at that. This is how we work here. Terrible. This is why we need a work bench. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's start again with this thingy. Should we say 52 point, point eight? Well, it's almost like 20.75 inches. Okay, let's do it. centimeters is a little bit yeah, I, <laughs> I can't admit that though. Okay, I just want to get... Metric is the way. <laughs> do you prefer metric or imperial? Had some lunch, or I made some chickpea curry. Lovely. So we're going to continue this. It's still rainy. I show you. Look at all of that rain. It's just been constant like that for ages. The well, birds are like. Way more wild than this. Oh no! Yeah, this is nothing. Y estaba peor. Estaba peor. Y mira cómo se oye. Así estamos aquí. But we're going to continue with that. So we have the two the leg parts and now we have to do the long way part which is does that make sense? Yeah, the leg. Okay. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, so the frame is done and now we need to look at support before adding the bit that goes on top of it. So Omar is thinking about adding these, well, I wouldn't say triangles, I would say diagonals yeah. in each corner. Yeah, we're going to try and get something in the middle. Yeah. Okay, I so think just... the most important thing, because this is going to be a work table, there's going to be lots of movement on it. And so over time we'll get very weak if mm. it's being moved around a lot. So, so if we get some corner, some um, triangles in the corners, yeah, it would certainly make a massive difference. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I think. Then. Shall we move the table out? Ah, <laughs> it's quite a nice sized table. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Once it's got its. So now we're freeing these guys over here so we Yay. can each have a surface to work Well, we can take this anywhere we're working and work yeah. It. yeah, it's meant to be portable tables. Yeah, no, not, yeah. not what we've been doing, I guess. <laughs> Brilliant. That will be absolutely fine. So uh, it's not easy cutting 45 degree angles. Though. No. This is where a mitre saw will would be, be legendary. Oh no. Uh -oh. I say that's a fine 45 degree I angle. Think that's all right. We're gonna call it a day because it's very dark and that's not the best of lights. Cool, so this is the day so far. It's um, the clocks went back two days ago, so it's very dark now. So we're gonna have dinner, a cup of tea, yeah. the drill, and we'll continue tomorrow. Well, we've already we've got most of the table, so yeah, very happy. hopefully the weather's better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. Always. Never, 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 never. So I've been asked to do these patterns. Oh, I had to do something. So I'm just gonna cut this so we can put it. We can spread it over here, and then another one over there, and then another smaller one over there. So it the top is screwed from the bottom so you don't see any screws on the top.
I broke the white pencil. Ah, uh, this I <laughs> So Andre did a great job while I was away. I went and I picked up a few things. So I got some brackets, which are going to be used to hold the tabletop down in places where we're not going to put the battens. And so I'm going to put them in now. I think we should move the table over there and stand it over there, because here, this is gonna... Yeah, we can't move it over there. Yeah. It's a nice day, so should we do yeah. that? It's really sturdy. Yeah. What's happening? What's happening? Uh, I'll show you now. These pieces of wood don't. They're not entirely very straight. I'm not liking this piece of wood at all. So we have encountered a little bit of a problem. <laughs> one of the pieces of wood, one of the planks of wood that we bought, is um, full of worms. We just wood worms, obviously. We just didn't notice that there because it was pouring with rain and uh, we're gonna go and see if the guy from the wood yard will let us exchange in front of the piece that would be amazing and then these ones are not entirely straight either they are not meeting so omar is trying to like making them meet a bit more like that and then chopping the ends it's a shame that it can't be done like a hundred percent perfect but we just don't have the tools for it and uh, it's also our workbench it doesn't have to be perfect well we have to do things for the house like an actual table that people are going to see and for decorative purposes or something like that we will need to get some tools just needs to do what it needs to do So as you can see, I've got uh, quite a gap over here. Oh, look at that!
for the purposes of varnishing, we're not actually using varnish, we're going to use a clear colour kind of protector. This, I just read, is really only for uh, water and fungus, so it's not very good for bugs at all. And it's very superficial. So this stuff penetrates the, the wood really well, and it's really good for the fighting up against termites and uh, beetles and larvae and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to put a layer of this in first, and then afterwards we'll put a layer of that in. Ah, so I've just seen that this is cas this is actually not clear. This is castanha, which is chestnut in Portuguese, not what we wanted. It would be interesting to see what color what color it gives. Let's have a look. Oh, it's black. I've been given this old thing, which is fantastic. I love these old vices. The only thing is, is that it's kind of jammed. It does move a little bit, but it doesn't even do a full rotation. And then, uh, so I'm gonna take all of this old wood out. I've got some nice hard wood that I'm going to replace it with. Uh, I'm going to put lots of grease on it, spray paint the parts that I can spray paint, and give it a good tidy, basically. This video should be called How Not to Put On In A Vice. <laughs> How Not to Install A Vice. Super, super, super happy with uh, the vice. I have to say a big thank you to Simon uh, for giving that to me. It's been a really, really cool project and I'm pretty sure it is gonna come into so much use. This I wish it was a little bit closer to the end of the table, but the leg was in the way. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's absolutely s super cool. I'm so happy about this, wonderful. table is in its place just behind me and now we're going to start putting on the shelves just below the table on the other legs which is going to act as like other storage I wanted to put the trimmer but Andrea says that's a waste of space which she's probably right but um, yeah we'll find something else for the trimmer but as you can see in the shelf just behind me over there it's completely packed so we'll be able to put some things underneath the table um, as well as bracing the legs which is the whole point Okay, so right now I'm going to try and surprise Andrea by doing something that she liked, which is putting a stripe of wood down in the bottom shelf, just to give it a bit of artistic flair. Now 
No, I am. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> yes. So there was, it was not big enough, so we just added this little strip in the middle where all my did. And I think it looks really cool. Yeah, it's a little bit of a va va boom. Personal touch, yeah, <laughs> va va boom. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Well done to you too. I reckon that is a successful mission. We yeah, have a now bench. we can make our own dining table. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> cool. Do you know how much this costs? An extra 30 euros. No, it was a bit more. We added, I bought a few extra bits of wood. Okay. I would say 55. 55 euros! <laughs> this costs 55 euros more. How much is a new workbench? 350 euros we saw. That's right. So I think we saved quite a bit of money. Takes to work, but you yeah. know. Yeah, about four days. We now need to sign it. Yeah, we should do that. Should we do that? Yeah. All right. <laughs>